So I've had my dinner and these have been left to dry. I've then primed them once all the glue had set, so it's just an army painter black and you'll see roughly how they're going to sit. And you can see why Bruce Hurst is saying paint these bits first because if I had to glue that now that would be a nightmare to get in with the brush. So I'm going to go ahead and build the next part and then I'm going to come back to these and apply the paint. Um, that's not wet, that's just where my glue spilled out but that will disappear when I start putting my other colours on top. So here are the next stages for the construction. Um, I actually need twice the amount of these that I have because according to Bruce's plans the top section is going to be much um, bulkier but I'm short one um, of one side and again I'm not casting it, I'm just going to build with what I've got. I think it will look just as good with the narrower top section as it would with the bulkier one. So I'm going to go ahead and continue the construction anyway. Worst case scenario it's only white glue I can chop it all out at a later date if I really don't like it but I think it's going to look fine. So I'm going to go ahead and build the sub-assemblies of this one. So the first sub-assembly is as we see it which is the four roof parts glued onto a one and a half inch long block. Um, I really should have sanded the back of that roof part but I didn't notice um, but it's went together fine. Just a little bit of jiggery pokery to get it to lie flush. But that's that part. I need to let that dry up now before I move on because if I try to attach anything else to that I can see disaster on the horizon so I'm going to let that bit dry and do any other little bits that I can in the meantime. So the next sub assemblies I've built is two of these and two arches and what I'm going to go ahead and do is glue the roof section to one of these and allow that full assembly to dry up together. Because I'm only using half of these sections that I should be because that should be a doubled up in bread, I nearly forgot about these which will be the struts for holding it up. Again it should be the ones twice the thickness because I'm using that at half thickness I need to use half thickness brick. Simple as, so I need to go ahead and attach them as well now. That's now both parts of this section glued on and drying so I'm not going to touch that for a little while just to make sure it dries nice and secure. And the next part I've got to do is take my arches here and glue these along the top so it'll be three of them on each part. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. A lesson for you when following someone else's plans make sure you follow them and don't just keep pushing on and pushing on nearly messed up. I need to chip each corner of these pillars so that this little baby fits on because otherwise it would protrude off the edge but I glued the bits down and then notice I was supposed to chip it being white glue I got to prise it off quite easy but I nearly had issues if I'd let that set up because then it would be much harder to chip off but job done so I glue the other bits on now so that's then little bollards glued on, or the finials glued on. I now need to step away and let them dry, and let this bit dry, and then they'll be joined onto that, and that'll be the top section complete, which means I'll be able to paint up all my sub-assemblies and then glue it together. So, looks like I'll get the piece built. Um, as I say, it's not the biggest of pieces. Um, knife, remember it's not the biggest, but it's going to be hopefully built into a bigger piece as I build this out for the, the graveyard mausoleum type feel for where I can get the zombies spawning but I'll take it in small stages because I don't know how much I'm really going to get done over this weekend and um, we are time wise just after seven o'clock at night so not masses done but I'm happy I'm happy we've got something built and it's for the game I wanted it for so I'll push on Okay, I've got the top section gluing together. Um, I had to put my other part together, it's all been primed in a dry fitted position so that I could just position and glue these side pillars onto the top section. So it's looking pretty good, I think. Um, I'm going to let that dry up, then I'll get that primed, and then it's on to a paint job. Okay, my friends, that is the primer 
on all the pieces and all the pieces fully constructed. I just need to let the primer dry. Um, I went on and put a bunch of it on by brush because my rattle can ran out. So it's part primed in Army Painter Black and then the rest of it's been primed by brush using Vallejo um, Polyurethane Black. And it's just a case of letting this dry. Oops, there's a bit there that I need to go in and black up. Oh, and there. So a couple bits need to go and black up, let that dry, and then I can paint this baby up. <laughs> 